In this video, we will discuss the isometric uh, projection problem number 25. The question is given like this A M sphere diameter 50 mm is resting on its curved surface centrally on the top face of a frustum of a rectangular pyramid. Base is 80 mm into 60 mm and top is 60 mm into 40 mm and height is 55 mm. Draw the isometric projection of the combination. Here the object uh, is one is hemisphere and one is frustum of a a rectangular pyramid the bottom object is rectangular pyramid on the top of that we need to place a hemisphere first we will start with the a bottom object that is hemisphere uh, um, the rectangular pyramid so the base is uh, 80 and 60 and top is uh, 60 and 40 so first we will start the base that is uh, 80 and 60 so start from your 80 enter angle is 30 then uh, 80 not 80 uh, next one is uh, 60 they give 60 angle is 150 then again 80 angle is minus 150 then again 60 angle is minus 30 okay the bottom face is finished and same we need to construct the top face the top face uh, uh, the, the dimensions are 60 uh, enter angle is 30 then 40 enter angle is 150 then again 60 enter angle is minus 150 then again uh, 40 angle is minus 30. So we consider the top and bottom faces and now go to the line normal line draw the diagonal line to the both because to get the midpoints uh, we need to place a height. Height they give one 55 so from the bottom uh, so midpoint we have to give the height uh, 55 angle is uh, 90 and now so go to move and we need to place this top face on the top of this uh, axis. So select this one and from the midpoint click it and place it to the top of this. And now the height between these two is uh, 55. So after finishing that you can delete the, the lines except the axis line you can keep it for next further uh, place the uh, hemisphere. Now go to line visible line. The front three corners you can join slant edges you can join because these are the three visible. The back one is hidden so no need to join that. And after that, you can delete the hidden, the back edges, you have to delete. Okay. Now the frustum of a rectangular pyramid is finished. Now we need to construct the hemisphere. So we know that hemisphere, you have a circular uh, face is on the top. It should be looking at the top. The curved surface should be placed over here. So first we need to construct the circular portion of the hemisphere. That is the uh, diameter given 50. So we need to construct the a square frame of 50. So 50 angle is 30. Then 50 angle is 150. Then 50 angle is minus uh, 150 and again 50 and angle is minus 30. After making the frame, so go to the bottom corner and uh, draw the line to the opposite edge midpoint of the top two edges like this and take the top corner and draw the uh, line to the bottom two edges midpoint. After making this, go to the line, visible line, take the bottom corner as a center and draw the arc between top to midpoint and take the top corner center and draw the arc between bottom to uh, midpoints of the edges and then take the intersection point as a center and draw the right side uh, arc segment and then take left side intersection point as a center and draw the, the left side arc segment. After finishing this arc segment, uh, we can uh, uh, delete the, the lines uh, which are we have for construction of that. And draw the diagonal line by using normal line. Draw the diagonal line. Okay. And now this hemisphere, we need to place a certain height height uh, to be taken with respect to the radius of the given diameter. So from the uh, go to line, center line, from the height uh, top face of this, we need to give the height diameter 50 degree or so. Radius is 25. Enter 25 and go to move. Select this uh, circular space. And from the midpoint, we need to pick it and place it on the top of this height. Okay. After placing this, so we need to uh, draw the curve, curve surface of hemisphere. So we know that the curve surface of hemisphere will be taken with the actual dimensions. So that's why we need to convert this entire object with the isometric. After that, we need to draw the uh, bottom, uh, the circular, uh, there is a curve surface with the actual dimension. So that's why go to the scale. Uh, select the entire object and scale factor 0 0.814 
touch enter and reduce to the isometric uh, view and now uh, isometric scale and now we need to go to arc by center point and then take the visible line and here we need to give the actual dimension 25 as a radius and uh, from the center pick it and draw the arc so as you know it will not be testy circumference because this one is isometric and this one is actual and now at the end go to the line the visible line draw a digital line joining to the circumference of the circular portion once we finished and uh, and later you can uh, we can trim the segment coming behind this hemisphere so this is how the problem should be solved